Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. We are playing as Karak Kadron and this is episode 14. Today we are about to take Castle Drakenhof. This is the final battle, or well, the final battle that matters. We've managed to uh, intercept an army just outside of Castle Drakenhof, led by Helmen Gorscht. And uh, he is backed up, backed up by the garrison army of Drakenhof. So he's made our job unbelievably easy. I'm hoping this will be a crushing defeat for them and a heroic victory for the Dawi. And this will cement our position as one of the most powerful factions on the Mortal Empire's map. So let's do it! And uh, Helmet himself not looking particularly threatening <laughs> with his single unit of zombies. But he's backed up by uh, quite an army, but an un an un uh, an unblooded army, no experience whatsoever. And just to uh, help us out here, our reinforcements are arriving on the correct side this time, which is really good because last time they didn't. Right, let's go here. Shove Ungram up front. Archers behind. We'll have these guys on the right hand side and we'll get our Goblobber at the back. And let's just see if we can take these guys out straight away. That'd be nice just to get rid of them before anyone else arrives. And the zombies. Send Ungram in. Send the archers straight after him. Let's bring up the reserves. I think uh, Hellman would do well to follow his zombies and retreat from this one, but it doesn't look like he's gonna. And he should probably fall back. If he doesn't, he will definitely die very quickly to this arrow onslaught. <laughs> that is for sure. I'm not even going to bother engaging with Ingram. There is no need. Right, let's get our front line properly assembled. Let's bring up the rest of the reinforcements. And there goes Helmand. You know what? We're going to move back. Actually, we're going to move back towards the Goblovers, so we're a bit closer to them and can afford them the proper protection that they might need. And also, we'll move closer to our reinforcements, so it should help with them as well. We have a lot of quarrelers. Garry's No, it's not looking good for Ingram. He's probably going to get engaged there. Let's do that to these Black Knights. These guys over here. Let's kill these Vargeists. Trying to stop our archers getting into uh, position. They'll die seriously fast here, though. Watch this. There they go. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's fire at something a bit more valuable than zombies. Graveguard looked like a good target. Okay, let's get our archers spread out properly. Oh, what have I done? Archers here, please. Ingram's getting a bit beat up. Let's bring him back so the archers can support him. Let's 
Okay, the uh, frontal assault is going to get annihilated by the sheer amount of archers that we have. However, I'm a little bit more concerned for the uh, for the flanks here. Uh, I think I was right to be so. Look at this. Not good. Let's get these guys firing on these Vargeists. Oh, ouch. Getting engaged by a Terrorgeist here as well. Not good. And our right flank is absolutely fine. So let's do this. We'll send one of the Slayers over this way. And we'll have our archers face like this. Try and get rid of all these forces that are attacking our archers. I think this will do the trick. Let's fire on these Grave Guard with our uh, catapults. That's a bit of a mess there, isn't it? Let's pull these archers out here. Pull these archers over here. And put these archers here. Ingram's absolutely loving it up here. <laughs> He's doing fine. Our front line, however, is uh, leaving a little bit to be desired. But this should hold enough for us to uh, regain the archer line and... Oh, look at that. Right, we need rid of this terror ghost. Let's get all the archers on this side to fire on it. Pull these quarrelers back, send the slayers in here. Pull these quarrelers back, and these ones as well. Proving a tough battle still, but I think we're okay here. Two seconds until we get the Master Rune of Autumn Steel. Buff the armor even more, and these guys are almost invincible right now. And this is looking really good now. Although, the front line is actually folding here. Let's try and get rid of this now before the front line breaks entirely. It's not going to be good when that happens. There we go. That's them disintegrating. The battle is won. And yet another heroic victory for the Dowie. Carried again by the immense amount of quarrelers we have. However, a close victory, and so it was. So it was. Definitely one of the tougher battles we fought. Although our losses are still minimal, but... Um, our poor warriors taking the brunt of it as always, although the archers are actually sustaining some losses this time, really. So, not as good a day as they've had in the past. And hopefully that's going to allow us to uh, walk straight in and take Castle Drakenhof. Let's take the leadership bonus. Also, we got our poison attacks on Ungrim, that's good. Let's just see what's left. Oh, really, really nothing much at all. Strike the runes for Grimly <coughs> and Ungrim. He's going to take Foe Seeker, of course, on the way to Deadly Onslaught. Let's take Castle Drakenhof. Let's finish what we started. Shouldn't be any difficulty at all. Castle Drakenhof.
the last bastion of the Von Karsteins and the Vampire Counts. Today they meet their end. This line of trips up here. And today everyone's just going to go up the walls straight away. And let's get these units going straight up there. Let's go! Let's bring our archers up to here. Bring the miners to the gates. Just making sure we've got all of them there. Get Grimly Brimbright up to the walls as well to provide that extra armor buff. I think this tower is actually going to be quite highly fought for, and it's, uh, I think it's quite a high level, it's firing out quite high level projectiles, yeah, it's, although not very accurate, thankfully, but um, let's not risk it, let's use the catapult to get rid of it, to minimize the uh, casualties on our quarrelers there. Send these guys to the walls. Got a second layer of archers over here. Oh wow, we've taken it already. Never mind. <laughs> I did not expect to take that so easily. There goes Gregor. There goes a battalion of grave guards, and they are dropping quickly now. I think we'll just stay on the walls and take them out the easy way. Who's that that I've got selected? Oh, that's not who I'm trying to fire at. Let's fire on these Grave Guard. Send Doomgrim up the walls. You know what? We'll send all three of them up the walls to help there. Let's have six fire. Group six. Second reinforcing archers fire on these Vargulfs, get rid of them. Of course they move, just as we do have massive volley on them. <laughs> Difficult. One down. For these banshees, use the Rune of Wrath and Rune on the Cairn Wraiths. And finally, let's kill Melchior Zukragenheim. Great name. <laughs> A little large to pronounce, but great name. And I imagine when he dies, that'll be the end of it. And the end of the vampire counts. No, these, uh, these Vargas are going to stand their ground. Okay, we need to move forward then. Let's move in, we'll get these iron breakers here, hammers over here, and some slayers and warriors on here. Oh. Sorry about that, my steam logged out, I have no idea why. Now we'll bring the archers in, and we'll bring our lords down off the walls. I 
think it's just these Vargeists left. And they are crumbling, but... Uh, Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Just took a little bit more to push them over the edge. 97 losses. I think we can live with that. Although, goodness me, I've lost a unit of Slayers again. Oh. I can never seem to keep them alive. And I believe that is the end of the Vampire Counts. And even if it isn't, it's certainly the end of any resistance they could mount against us. Even if they do still exist. Not much gold. Occupy that peaceably because we want that gold mine. Hopefully it didn't get destroyed. Eastern Sylvania secured. The vampire counts have been defeated. Excellent. And a plague upon this world has been removed. Level 3 gold mine. That is really, really excellent. Our income instantly increased by a lot. And there's some really good buildings here already there for us, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic. I can't see what's left to stop us. There's not, There's no enemies around us here. We're surrounded by allies. It's, uh, it's looking good for the Dowie on this side of the world. I must fulfill my slayer oath. And let's definitely give him that 10% strength buff from Windmaker. And then building wise, pu public order is definitely going to be an issue. So let's build the, uh, the re re refractory for five more. And another good thing is we can actually recruit agents now with the two buildings that are in here. So that's good as well. And I think we'll build a gate on Castle Drakenhof just because it's almost certainly going to rebel and it should be good to have that extra reinforcements when the time comes. Vengeful Lord. Grimly is going to go back to Eshin or maybe Templehof to break the siege that's going to be on them. He'll probably go to Templehof. And uh, that should sort that out. And then we're going to have to go and deal with Count Mount Gunbad next because um, they're going to be under some serious threats now. Because as you can see, it's going to rebel again in two turns. And it's not even finished fighting this rebellion. So it's really going to be under some serious stress and actually might take a bit of defending. Because it needs to be stabilized because we need the income that it provides. And so far it's giving us nothing. And it's been held up massively by the, the sieging. So we'll probably send Ingram there next yes. because I think Grimly will be able to take care of this area by himself. We'll leave Sylvania for him to manage. Let's do Untainted first. Which just so happens to be public order too, which is good. Let's check our diplomacy right now. Averland, would you like to trade? I think that'd be a good idea if we did. We'll have to pay a decent amount for it too. Thank you. By Sigma's will. Yes. The Empire Origins definitely let's start building relations smell. with them if we can. Nope, they're going to reject that. Burn, clan Angrund. Step forth, true friend of the Angrund clan. Ow. Oops. <laughs> well, still non-aggression pact with the Clan Angrund, uh, which is always good for us. And Karakazul, non-aggression pact. Will you pay Let me for that? Let us feast and drink. Very well. 800 gold. Very nice. So, dwarves, Finally, Wissenland. Let's try and be friends with them. Good stuff. Okay, making lots of new friends. And I don't think I've ever seen a Mortal Empires map looking so happy. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, if Everheim are lucky, they'll take back their... They'll take back their capital city there. If not, I'm sure some human faction will, and uh, we're going to be surrounded by humans entirely, with uh, no real risk to us, so that's good. Look at this, Karag Dromar and Mount Squighorn, two easy towns that could complete their provinces, and they're not taking them. Come on, guys. You need to take them before the humans do. 
Okay, let's see what we can do on the building front. Does anyone else need buildings? Nope. Okay, oh yes, recruiting agents. Let's do that, recruit an agent. So we can recruit one Thane, one Runesmith, and one Master Engineer. That is excellent. Let's get one of each. So uh, I'm probably going to attach these to armies later on. Let's go for confident. And then that doesn't allow me to recruit anyone else for now, but that's fine. Uh, we'll give him Specialist. Because he's going to start off as an agent. And we'll send him to... Wisemond. I thought it just depends on what I want, really, doesn't it? I think we want the Axe of Dargo. So we'll go to Eastern Oblast first. Which is Prague. So he needs to go there. So there we go. That'll take him... One, two, three, four... I think that's, I think that's five turns. Not too long. Hopefully he makes it. And uh, I think that's everything for this turn. Oh, feeling really good now that uh, I've got rid of the uh, the vampire counts. It's like a weight has been lifted. <laughs> it's making me think what we're going to do now. I think I guess we head south and we help the dwarfs in their conquest against the greenskins because there's no one else well up here that's really a natural enemy of ours. And if we start fighting one human, they'll all start disliking us because you know. They all kind of band together, don't they? So perhaps there's one that doesn't like the other. We could see. But I don't really want to start wars that I don't need to. And the diplomacy is really good for me right now. So we might as well head south and help the dwarves. Surprised the Greenskins haven't really confederated with anyone, really. I think the um, I, I'm not I don't I'm not sure if I'm happy with the AI post patch. If I'm honest here, it's not allowing some of the um, the main armies to sort of grow and become really strong like they should be, or at least it seems that way. I'll we'll just take the oath. Don't mind that minus ten. So yeah, next turn we're going to get another rebellion at Mount Gunbad, which doesn't seem good. <laughs> Eastern Sylvania is always going to, also going to rebel. I can handle that though. Let's get uh, Grimly into Castle Templehof. Takes away all risk of losing that, that's for sure. And Ungrim will be able to handle whatever happens here, so that's good. I think of all the things I'd like to build. I think I lost a Slayer, which is a shame, but I don't really want to replace the Slayer. <laughs> um, I would definitely like some long beards. Very, very much. In fact, you know what? I'm getting rid of my warriors and recruiting long beards instead. And then my final decision is between whether to get another Grudge Thrower. Which I think is worth. Grudge Throwers are pretty damn good. Or just to get another long beard. I think I need the extra frontline protection, so I'll get another long beard. If I if it was iron breakers, I'd maybe settle for a bit less. I'm also you know what, I'm gonna get rid of these guys, I think. They're quite expensive for what they are. Yep, I'm going to get rid of them. And I'm considering getting rid of these guys as well. Again, very expensive for what they are. Unnecessary. It's not that they're not good, but they're not beneficial at this point. In fact, you know what? I'm getting rid of both of these. 
That takes us up to 4,000 per turn, which is a lot better. Cons and, and considering the situation we're in right now, we don't need these special units. I'm going to get rid of the miners too. I am the Slayer King. They're great units, but we can get them anytime we need them. Uh, we'll just recruit them back if we need them. But for now, we'll just get rid of them so that we're getting more money per turn. And we'll build up Grimley's army as well very soon. Let's put these two together to increase the income even more. And uh, everything's going together here very, very well. Once we get Mount Gunbad up to its full strength, we're going to be making a lot of gold on top of having two full armies. So uh should be pretty smooth sailing from there. I feel a bit aimless now, with no enemy. <laughs> For the longest time we've been fighting the vampires and it's all been going well. It's been a bit of toing and froing. But now that there's no enemy to fight, I feel like an archer without a name. <laughs> Not sure what to do. Welcome, Wolfram. I don't think we want a defensive alliance, no. I don't know who he's at war with, but I think I've just seen he was at war with Kislev, and so I was much mistaken. Let the petty humans fight amongst themselves. I'll take no part in it. <laughs> it's me northern accent. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Don't worry, I am well aware. <laughs> okay, this is good. Mount Gunbad is uh, attacking this turn. Um, I'm confident about this. Oh, wow, look at this. It's just going to be goblin slaughter. Well, this is going to be fun. Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode there, guys. You know how I like to leave it on a battle for next time to open with. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got rid of the vampire count, so I hope that was worthwhile. And uh, next time we're definitely going to focus on moving south and fighting the green skin threat that is down there. So if you did like this episode, please like. Give us a subscription if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode.